Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flips third grade math. We're using math expressions and we're going to be looking at lesson 4-1. And our objective today is making place value drawings. And as we make and interpret those place values, we're going to find that drawing is probably the easiest way to interpret those. So I got some feedback from you the third graders and I'm mean, going to be tweaking the way I do our flip lessons for the second trimester and you'll notice that the biggest um, change will happen within the classroom though you'll see that like today's lesson I will actually be teaching on this Tuesday you'll you'll see that the lessons will reflect some of what's going on in the classroom and you'll be able to understand hopefully the math lesson a little bit better so I'm gonna start with the agenda and show you that um, we're gonna look at place value drawings so drawings that represent the values of numbers is what we're looking at today and you'll also understand that it's a great way to understand how numbers work together so as we model explore apply and problem solve you'll be able to understand what those problem those drawings represent and how place value takes a part in helping us understand that you'll have some homework tonight and you'll also have a WSQ and the WSQ is going to become more important as we go because it'll be your ticket to the activities on Wednesday and Friday so let's get started with an anytime problem this I found is a good way to warm up our math skills if Aretha is taller than Sean Sean is shorter than Hamid Aretha is the tallest student we need to order the students from shortest to tallest so if we take Aretha we know that she is the tallest student then we know that she's taller than Sean so but Sean is shorter than Hamid so where are we gonna put Hamid if we move Sean down and a Hamid forward do we have the students in the right order let's check our answer oh what did we do wrong yep we need to put Sean as the shortest. Sean was the shortest. Then we had Hamid. And then we had Aretha. Because we we're going from shortest to tallest. Good job. I want to remind you to do some skip counting. If you do your twos, remember to go two, four, six, eight. Or a better way to do that would probably be to go to to Fisher Flip Blogspot, um, the Songs tab. So if we go there, let me show you what it looks like. From the Home button, you go to Math Songs. You'll be able to find Skip Counting, and you'll find Skip Counting by twos, fours, sixes, eights. Those are the ones I want you to practice. Are the evens ones? Skip Counting by two four six eight and ten well we're gonna be using some vocabulary and this vocabulary will be kind of a background knowledge for you as we get going and we're gonna just look at the first two today and then we'll look at standard word and expanded form a little bit later and most likely in our next lesson so digit what is a digit a digit is a symbol used to write a number so example three is a digit 34 is a two-digit number so if we look at 34 the the three represents a digit and what's value value is the worth of an object example the value of a dime is 10 cents so if we look at the value in numbers or digits we've got some explaining to do there today we're going to be looking at modeling exploring applying and problem solving the first part is the model part and we're going to be using our math board and we're going to change that so it's not using this side of the math board 
we want to be able to use this side. And what I want you to just do is realize that we are going to be using this math board to represent ones, tens, and hundreds. So let's start out by circling one, two, three. Every circle represents a number. And we want to circle 10 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I've circled those 10, right? And those 10, if I put a straight line through it, those represent 10. So a stick equals 10. Well, if I have 10 sticks, 1, 2, 3, well, if I take one of those sticks and I represent that to be equal to 10, then I take those 10, make that into a box. Well, that box represents 10 of those sticks, right? 10 of those sticks equals how much? Well, let's, let's count. This was by 1s, this was 10s, and this is 100s. So you'll see that this is a great way to be able to represent our numbers. Well, here's our ones. Our ones were represented by circles. Then we had our 10 stick. How much would that equal? This is a dot drawing of 76. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 76. This is a great way to do that. Let's look at this. This is 312 to 176, and I want to be able to figure out which one's bigger. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? I'm going to say 312 is equal. Mm. Let's try this one. Terrific. 312 is greater than 176. Well, what if I change that so it was 326 and 371? So let's change that to 320 and add some extra ones, 2, 3, 326. Let's change this to 371. Which one's going to be greater? 371 is greater than 326? Let's check our answer. That's correct. Well, that's a great way to um, understand our place drawing. Pause the video and check your answer. Well, I know this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is going to be in that place. Then I have 1, 2, 3, 3, what are these? Those are 10s. It's going to be 38, and this is 100 and 200, right? What is this? I don't understand what that is. Let's check it out. A column of 100 boxes would be a 1,000 bar. Now, a 1,000 bar is different than a stick. A stick would be a small stick. A thousand bar, notice it's a rectangle, represents a hundred boxes. So a thousand bar, so we know that that is a one. Well, before you fully answer this, you will need to know where to put the comma. Do you put the comma here? Do you put the comma here? Do you put the comma here? Let's check our answer to see where we put the comma. It is one comma 238. And why do we put the comma there? We'll have to talk about that in our lesson on Wednesday. So do this one in your notebook. Make a place value drawing for the number. Well to do this drawing I am going to do draw 8. How many sticks am I going to use for the 6? Six? 6 sticks. And how many squares am I going to use? 3 and how many uh, thousand bars am I going to use? Two. And where am I going to put the comma? Right there. Let's check your answer. Two thousand six D and one two three four five six seven eight. So there's our answer. Hopefully you got the same answer. A couple of things that I want you to practice will be on the blog. And if you look at the blog you're going to see that um, there are some background information and some games that you want to try. And the one I just showed you is this one, Place Value, no, National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. If you go to Number and Operations, 
there is some base blocks right there that I want you to try. And those base blocks are being able to take a thousand and separating it into tens, hundreds, and even ones. So once you to separate them, you can see that what the number is and you can check. Some other fun games that you'll want to check out are the number line mine. You'll use a number line to be able to figure out the answer. Also, um, Destination Math has a place value game that you can uh, check out how to do uh, place value with numbers up to 9,999. Takes us to your homework. You will be getting a letter that goes home and it talks about place value and how we use place value trying. This is your homework. You're going to have one, two, three, four problems that use place value drawings and place where you have to do place value drawings and then you have to write the number for the words and that's pretty easy because you just see 1060 and it's seeing if you can do those so you'll have 10 problems and that is actually on the website it's going to be that worksheet right there and you can print it off or Mr. Fisher will have it as a print remember to do your WSQ when and where did you watch the video summary sum up what you saw what did you learn from this lesson what was the main idea and write one question you might have from watching the video now remember if you don't have a question write down a question you think someone else in the class may have or create a word problem to go along with the video and that will be really easy with the place value drawings today and so that was our agenda and that is the end of our lesson thank you for participating and be prepared for Wednesday's activity. Remember we're going to be doing it a little bit differently but it should be easier to understand especially with your homework. So good night.